<clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. One take reveal for this Alpha Subohm tank from Geek Vape. Now, this is something I've said a lot in the past. It's probably something I'll probably say again in the future. There's been a lot of competition lately with Subohm tanks. Like, we have had some really stellar Subohm tanks. Things like the Mesh Pro, things like the Fire Luke Mesh, things like that Inokin Scion Plexus coil head, things like the Falcon. An artisan resin edition that uses cotton and wood pulp inside of their coil heads. The vape quality that we've been getting from sub ohm tanks has been fantastic. It's it's been awesome. And this is the newest one from Geek Vape. And this is also a mesh coil head in there. And they have this mesh coil head that's a 0.2 that is like a single strip of cotton. And then they have these, which they call, hang on, I'm gonna have to look at the website. It's called the Mesh Mellow. Meshmallow, marsh, marshmallow, meshmallow. So these are called the meshmallow coil heads and it has a dual core in there. So it's got two cores of mesh on the inside. I'm not sure why they call it the mesh mellow because I can still rock it at a fairly high wattage for what it is. So the mesh mellows are supposed to be 0.4 ohms and the regular coil heads are supposed to be 0.2. This regular coil head, the one with the single strip of mesh came out to about a 0.17 and the one that was supposed to be a 0.4 came out to about a 0.36. So fairly close, right? Fairly close. That's not a huge difference. You're just going to have to adjust your wattage maybe a little bit when you're vaping it. So let's start with this one. Let's start with the one that I've been using the most. This is the regular mesh coil head in there with one single strip of mesh throughout. It's a 0.17. I've got it sitting at 75 watts. Let's, let's just have one. airflow fairly smooth fairly restricted it feels a little bit restricted and it's a little it's just a hair unlike the noisy side i feel it's not as loud as some other sub ohm you know mesh based coil head tanks like that fat baby the unfortunately named fat baby mesh tank was just a wind tunnel like it was so loud by comparison these are are relatively quiet tanks. The one thing, the one thing with this mesh coil head that has the one strip on the inside is spitty, right? Spit back. It gets real spitty. And I think the reason that people really like the flavor from these mesh coil heads with the single strip of mesh on the inside is because they're getting a fine coating of misty liquid all over their mouth. All I taste every time I take a drag from this is actually the liquid kind of just misting into your mouth and you can feel it like after you take a drag if you do one of those like like you kind of roll your tongue around in your mouth you'll be able to taste the liquid inside your mouth yeah all over your tongue you can feel it it's a great performer the airflow feels great and the flavor is good but I think the flavor is good because you're getting a fine misting of liquid in your mouth. At least that's my experience. So now if we're going to look at this one, which is the Mesh Mellow, right? They called it the Mesh Mellow because I have the feeling that they assumed that since it's a 0.4, you'd be running it at a much lower wattage. But I don't really think that's the case. I'm going to have this 0.37 at 60 watts, and I think it's actually gonna handle a little bit more wattage than that. With this particular coil head, because there's two mesh cores in there, the airflow by default is gonna be a little bit more restricted. Maybe that's what they were thinking about when they said the mesh mellow because the airflow is gonna be more restricted. I have no idea. It honestly feels pretty similar to the standard coil head, but it is substantially, dude, substantially less spitty overall. Still a little bit spitty, still a little bit spitty. It's just not as spitty as like a straight mesh, one piece of mesh on the inside. To me, those particular, those types of coil heads have always been a little bit spitty to me. In fact, this 0.37, yeah, it can hold, uh, it can probably handle a lot more wattage than that. We're gonna turn it up to 75 watts. See how it goes.
Bangin'. Bangin', bangin'. Much less spitty. Real flavorful. Real flavorful without getting that fine mist in your mouth. This 0.4 coil head or 0.37 coil head can hold up to a lot more wattage. Again, I don't know why they called it the Mesh Mellow because you can rock this at a real high wattage. I mean, not crazy high, not like 90, 100 watts high, but like 75 watts for a 0.4 that's pretty high. That's almost six volts. That's 5.7 volts if this Squid Industries TAC 22 is to be believed. It's almost 5.7 volts, which is a lot. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of wattage and voltage to put through this coil head, but the coil head wicks. The coil head stands up to that wattage and delivers real nice, real nice vape. I like it. I really like it a lot. The thing about both of these tanks is you have to drag fairly hard. This is the opposite of like the Hermetic RDA where you're going to give it one of those like Matt Cully like smoother draws. This is one that you, you, you just pull. You just pull hard like a Kent Hill style, just real sort of aggressive pull on it. And it vapes. Dude, it vapes awesome. So the overall construction of this, the fit and finish of these tanks, fairly nice. It's a combination of aluminum and resin. I don't always love the way the resin looks, but they were designed to kind of match those geek vape mods that came out that I can't remember the name of, that I definitely, definitely reviewed and cannot remember the name of these mods. What are the name of those? This is gonna drive me insane. I'll figure out the name and I'll just put it right here. Those Geek Vape mods, I had one that looked exactly like this, that blue and orange swirl. So it's mostly like, what did I say? Aluminum, stainless steel, and resin. And the resin is designed to match the mods that Geek Vape released earlier. So that's the reason that they're resiny. I really wish they would have done at least one non-resin version of this. If they had done one like full stainless steel version of this tank, I would have enjoyed it a, a lot more, just a whole bunch more. Like this full stainless steel on top of this mod would have actually looked pretty dope, but now it's like stainless steel and black and then you have this weird resin and stuff on there and I, I'm not always just a huge fan of resin. I think on tanks especially, resin or like swirly plastic just makes it look a little bit cheap in my opinion. It makes it look a little bit cheaper in my opinion. One thing that I love about this tank is the filling system. It is it is very cool. There's a, just a little button on the side here. You just, you just click it in and it slides open and you fill it up and you go boop and it clicks. You know, I'm a person that loves, oh, loves a good click in something, whether that's like a pod going into a battery, just click or a, or a tank closing and it's just click. I like clicks and that little click is just a very reassuring click. That click is telling you, hey, the top of your tank is closed, man. It is closed and it's not gonna leak anywhere. And then when you wanna refill it again, boop, flips open. That's, I'm like, I don't care. That's not real innovation, right? Like it's, it's, it's a cool feature and it, that's all it is, is it's just a really cool feature. It doesn't enhance the vape of the tank. It just makes using this tank a little bit more effortless. You just boom and it pops open like a switchblade and you just fill it up and you close it again. And I love that so much. The vape quality overall from these tanks is pretty fantastic. I do prefer the mesh mellow coil heads to the, does this one even have a name? No, it's just, it's just the normal whatever coil head, 0.2 resistance coil head. And look, it's a great vape. It's just a little bit too spitty for my tastes. I find that when I vape this, I just get a little bit too much juice in my mouth.
but it vapes great. It tastes fine. I'm using the exact same juice in both of these tanks because I wanted to really like honestly compare the flavor and I'm not super shocked. The mesh mellow coil heads with the dual core mesh in there taste a lot better than just the single strip of mesh. I'm not a firm believer in the single strip of mesh delivering that really good flavor. I do think it requires multi-cores, especially in like mesh sub-ohm coil heads. The flavor on the mesh mellow is overall a lot, a lot better. I would personally rather use the mesh mellow than the standard stock, you know, 0.2 ohm mesh coil head. It just tastes better, and it's an all-around more enjoyable vape. I feel like I'm getting a thicker cloud. I feel like I'm getting denser flavor. I feel like I'm getting a denser cloud overall. It's just, in my opinion, much more enjoyable than the single one. But otherwise, look, man, uh, pardon me. I don't know where that burp came from. These are great tanks. This is a solid, solid sub-ohm tank. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. Are you going to need your vape budget hands if you want to purchase this alpha tank from Geek Vape? I apologize. I have to look over here on the store. This would be a time normally that I would cut, but fuck that. We're not cutting anything. We're not editing anything out. So let's get to this alpha tank. Vape budget hands. No, not really. Uh, it's a little bit pricey for a sub -ohm tank. It's 30 bucks for a sub -ohm tank, which I, I don't know. I feel like 30 bucks for a sub -ohm tank is about the most that you would ever, like 30 to 35 bucks is the most I think you would ever want to spend on just a sub -ohm tank. Uh, you know, considering you can get RTAs for right around the same price and you can get kits like that include Sorry, I had to swallow there. That was a that was an emergency saliva swallowing. But you can get kits that come with a mod and a sub ohm tank for sometimes right around like 50 bucks. So just shop around, you know, use your vape budget hands, buy what you can buy and afford what you can afford. Now, if we're going to play the aliens game here with these alpha geek vape sub ohm tanks, if the FDA came or the aliens came and took everything I had and I had literally nothing left to vape. Are these tanks something I would seek out and buy right away? God, I, sh I honestly have no idea. I, I would like to sit and compare all of my favorite coil heads because it's a very mental thing. I'll pick up that Plexus Inokin Scion and I'll vape it and I'll be like, fuck, these coil heads are awesome. These are definitely my favorite. And then, you know, I've said this before and then I'll grab the Falcon Resin and I'll vape it and I'll be like, no, wait, these coil heads, these are the fucking bomb coil heads. These are the coil heads that I want to be using. And then in walks the alpha from Geek Vape and I take one toot off of it and I have this, you know, this mesh mellow coil head in here and I take a grab, I, I take a grab, what? I take a big pull off of it and I go, holy shit. Like this is a good sub ohm tank. That is a good coil head in there. The point is, a lot of these coil heads, they're all getting to be kind of around the same quality. Like the, the they just advanced so quickly that now we have multi-core mesh coil heads that all wick amazingly, all have really great flavor, all have really great airflow. They all stay real saturated. They all give you kind of that dense, saturated vape. So I don't know. If you're looking for a sub -ohm tank, let me say this. If you have no sub -ohm tanks right now and you want to buy your first sub -ohm tank, the Geek Vape Alpha is going to be a rockin' sub ohm tank. Real easy to put together. Coil head goes in, you prime it up. It's got this great little filling system. Where's the button? I wanna press it again. Boom, it's got this great little filling system. It's gonna deliver a real consistent, flavorful vape. Is it better than like the Plexus Mesh coil heads or is it better than the Falcon Resin Artisan Tank coil heads that use wood pulp and cotton in it? These say they use Egyptian cotton. Some use, you know, cotton and wood pulp. I don't know. They're, they're so evenly matched. They are so, so evenly matched that I think that if there was some sort of blind, you know, tasting, like blind taste testing, if you put the same drip tip on all of these tanks and put the all of these tanks on the same mod and you were blindfolded and you just vaped through them, it would be challenging to pick out which is the Alpha, which is the Falcon, which is the Inokin, you know, which is the Mesh Pro, which is the Fat Baby, which is the Vapeston, which is the other one. They're all very, very 
evenly matched. So I honestly think what this is gonna come down to is aesthetics. What do you think of the tank? What do you think the tank looks like? The fit and finish on all of them are all really good. That's no different with the Geek Vape. The fit and finish on this Alpha, real well put together. Geek Vape has always been real consistent with the products that they've put out. They've all felt like, fairly high quality products. So yeah, I guess that's where I'm gonna leave that. If I'm gonna recommend this, it's a great sub-ohm tank, but I much prefer the mesh mellow coil heads as opposed to the single strip of mesh 0.2 ohm coil heads. I think they get a little bit spitty. But anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. As always, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, dude, let's, uh, let's just keep on vaping.